One important fact to have prepared for disaster preparedness and life preparedness is a document bag. And within this bag, you want to have your key documents. This is my document bag. You can see it's a simple canvas bag. But a briefcase or a sports bag would work just as well. Now, I wouldn't suggest a trash bag or a cardboard box due to the unlikely event, but catastrophe it would be if, the, if it was thought to be trash and discarded. Now, what should be in your document bag? Well, certainly key identification documents such as your driver's license, which you normally carry in your everyday carry in your wallet, but also your passports and key health records, such as uh, immunizations and a list of your prescription medication. But let's go through some basic categories. One is identification papers, birth certificates for each member of the family, death certificates if pertinent to the, your situation, a marriage license, your passports as I've mentioned before, citizenship papers if applicable, property papers such as a car title, deeds to property, a list of all savings and investment accounts, health records, your and your spouse and children's immunization records, a list of any medications that you take under prescriptions and the dosage. And don't forget your pet's immunization records. Business papers, such as insurance policies and account numbers, bank and investment company account numbers, business contacts, business uh, um, contracts, uh, a list of credit card and account numbers, your home vendor contact information, your homeowner's insurance policy. Have estate planning documents like wheels, a list of all credit cards and other debt, a list of life insurance policies and contact information, advanced medical directives, and then contact information such as phone numbers of family, friends, and other key people, email addresses of family, friends, and other key people, and addresses of family, friends, and other key people. Have photos, photos of your ancestors, of yourself, family members, and special memories. There may be other documents, such as a military discharge at DD-214, if applicable, professional licenses. And then you might want to consider to put a small amount of cash in your document bag. I have an American $20 bill in it, but I also have probably the equivalent amount of money in Canadian money and in Euros. Uh, I recall one time... Uh, I was in Canada on a hiking and camping trip, and when I came out of the back country, I was desperate to get a product out of the vending machine. But in the process of going to Canada, I was in such a hurry to get to the trailhead, I didn't bother with obtaining some local money. So I couldn't get the product out of the vending machine. So having a little bit of money that will buy you one or two meals or get you into a vending machine could be very helpful. You'll find this document bag helpful not only if you have to bug out or relocate, but also in everyday life preparedness. Uh, you need to find the uh, birth certificates and immunization for your uh, children to be uh, registered in school. Um, I didn't mention it, but you should also have your lax tax return if you have to refer to that. So have a document bag prepared and ready to go for disaster preparedness and life preparedness. Be prepared.